do you have foundational values any person who does not have foundational values in his life will never be great will never i repeat be great ask any great man in life and destiny part of the secrets of their greatness is that they have been able to create values foundational values what are the principles you have put in your life to support your spiritual growth oh i will grow as the spirit wills you will never grow what have you put tell me clearly what have you put to support your spiritual health what have you put to support your prayer life you see and, and, and I don't mean to be sarcastic please if, if I offend you I'm sorry but some of this carelessness have come from an exaggerated communication of the grace message so every time people have to put physical pillars that help them and support them to stand strong they feel guilty because they feel it should be automatic no sir welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. As any successful person, nobody becomes great automatically. Is that true? The people who announced their jam here, 270 days, they didn't just close their eyes and dreamt and sat down. And then stood up they, they labored let's respect the sacrifice that creates stability don't just say apostle my prayer life is going down what are your spiritual values that's my question you will never be stable if you don't have values at what point can you punish yourself at what point can you supervise and discipline yourself you are the first mentor of your destiny it is not always about people policing you is there something you can do in your life and say this is not consistent with my values i must be disciplined for this i usually pray every day by so time to so now i slept off i must pay that price in that prayer by having a one full day retreat that's discipline you don't allow weak people fool you and make your spiritual life go down you need tenacity and energy and discipline i will never come here for koinonia and be stranded of what to preach because there is a value around my life that makes sure that by Friday my message is prepared. I look at it. It's not automatic. Tomorrow I'm in Zamfara. Tuesday I'm in Lagos. Coming back for the retreat. All of these programs. These are major conferences. How do you prepare them? And then you have to sleep. And then you have to do other things. Is the reason why many believers are not balanced in their life. They don't have values. You get up anytime. You sleep anytime. Are we together? You can go out of your house without plan and not discipline yourself for being that careless. You just plan to go and do something in someone's house. You end up spending the whole day and you don't do a review to punish yourself for that carelessness. It's not, it's, look, do you like what I'm sharing? It looks like you don't like what I'm saying. You, you better like it because this is what makes people great say values shout it again some of us need to create values that govern your going out and coming in not everywhere is goable no sir my friend has birthday somewhere is is my friend will you die if you don't eat the cake can they cut your own and keep for you we have this carnality that make us believe that until you go and establish your presence everywhere values a married man gets up leaves his house in the morning returns back by 12 o'clock and no explanation to the wife and children where did you go to what is your business am i not your husband no sir you are in discipline no sir you are in discipline if i don't have anything doing outside you will not find me outside no way there's you see it's lazy and unserious people that have all the time to spare do you know sometimes in all honesty i tell you this sometimes i sit down by morning and before i finish preparing all my it's already evening and i'm wondering my god it's already 10 i can be in a, in a position from morning till maybe i'll just get up to ease myself or do something values i'm going to have the devotion what time there's no time so there's no system of creating discipline you get up by five o'clock 
but you don't have a value in your life for when to seek God. I, I, you get what I'm saying now? Even the reading of the Bible, there is no system. You just say, okay, today, guy, First Kings 13. No, this I don't want anything that will scare me. Where is Psalms? Psalms for his message. You look for a simple four verse Psalms and just read and wonder why you are not growing. Why should you be surprised that you are not growing? How many of you have seen some of these evangelists that preach in the park? Sometimes six in the morning, they are there. They will do it for more than 20 years. Early in the morning, as soon as you are traveling, you will see them there. They are preaching. Many of us are not bad, but we are receiving the result of bad people because our values have not edited our lives enough to allow good things come to us. One of our dear ladies was, was, was sharing and, and sent me a text today about some, some people that stay in, in their compound or so, smoking all kinds of things and harassing them. I said, look, if nothing is done here, find a place immediately. We'll support you to find a place and get out of that place. Are you that desperate for your growth and your destiny? Have values towards money. Have values that govern your character. Compromise. You can tell yourself in the name of Jesus, I receive grace. Anytime I see a great man, I will never beg him for money. It's a value. I will find out from him. If he blesses me, that's all right. So if you see a multi-millionaire come, your values. Are you seeing that now? There is that each, but your values. But there are others as soon as they ah, your boys are here. You see, you don't have values. And anybody that does not have a, a spirit that does not have control is like a city without walls many believers are not stable because we lack values you cannot define what are the values that I live by it's better to be sincerely wrong but at least that you set values I have a value I have a spiritual value over the man I can marry or the man I can go out with or the woman I can go out with when you see a lady that loves God with all her heart you know sometimes it doesn't cease to surprise me and then with all the spirituality here comes this this uh, uh, brother that that is is not you know that this guy is far from the cross he's even far from uh, what name of that place where Jesus died Golgotha far from it and here comes the lady smiling and asking whether it's the will of God. The situation there is lack of values. If you have values, you already know. I can't be this selfish. Children are going to come from this union. And I'm going to submit to this man. I don't want a man that will make me bring forth children whose destinies will be destroyed. If you are honest and you are serious, you will think about your children, not just yourself. It's not all about my, I love you, I love you, my comfort. You are thinking, children will come from this. What if I start praying with my children and the man comes and says, no prayer in this house. What happens to you? We now begin to blame God. Say values. What of friends? What is your standard for having friends in your life? There are married people who have bad friends, ungodly friends that keep causing trouble for their homes. Are we together? Values. Spiritual values. What is the parameter that qualifies a man to have access to your mind? Or do you just listen to everybody just because they are talking? What must be present in a preacher for you to listen? What of finance? Some of us don't have values at all. We lie anyhow and it doesn't matter. Me, I'm both old and new school. I've told you, depending on what is old and depending on what is new, there are things we call old school that is just, is, is very new, is latest school. Just because it's ancient does not mean it's outdated. Let's be careful when we define some of these parameters that continue to destroy our lives. Some of us love God, but when it comes to, let me bring money out. When it comes to money, look up please christians look up when it comes to money you are praying in tongues someone just says uh go and buy me polish how much is polish let's say 200 naira just because you saw the money god goes places
because money has entered your hand just because the person does not ask you for change you will come and drop the polish and go away with the change you don't have values how about this big man what will he do with 50 naira is it your money is it your money sir you know once in a while the bible said thy rod and thy staff they comfort me so once in a while god just draws this thing out to just straighten our lives some of you think these things are silly are we together now what is your value to regulate your social media whatever what is watchable and what is not watchable don't say i'm an adult you have a mind right now we expose our little children to things they should not watch and they ask us questions we cannot answer i'm giving you an assignment tonight that when you go back please spell out very clearly what do i stand for and what do i not stand for with respect to god and with respect to my destiny some of you have done well having values for your spiritual life but you have not done well for your destiny you don't have values that govern your destiny in the name of jesus i will never be lazy whatever it will take i will do well value in one minute i like you to cry to god and say lord have mercy upon me and give me the grace to have values and boundaries in my life lift your voice and pray are you praying it's a hard message but it will bless you lift your voice lord i have tolerated laziness in my life lord i've tolerated carelessness in my life lord i've tolerated all kinds of of things that should not be in my life i've tolerated pride lord i i declare i want to go far in life please pray you're not praying pray oh apostle but i'm all right i'm holy i don't sleep around i don't drink i don't smoke what of the values of character the values of empathy please pray is the reason why some of us have never risen you have never seen a need to discipline yourself because of carelessness you must be able to have a way to say sit down this is not right this is good i have to discipline myself i spoke rudely no one of my values is honor I was i lost my temper and i spoke rudely i demand if without supervision lord i receive grace to supervise myself i receive grace i receive grace are you praying i receive grace shalabakata bradakete baladaba shakate kata barakato soparikata spiritual values intellectual values that i will never go to bed till i've added something to my mind is a covenant that you make with yourself it's a core value no matter how sleepy you are you wake up and you say i must improve myself every day by self-supervision you are a pastor by thursday or friday every message to preach must be ready no matter what it is guiding principles if i finish eating i must wash the plate there and then every day i must sweep my house whether it is clean or not guiding principles when i get up in the morning the first thing i would do is play worship and read my bible before browsing before watching a movie values there must be boundaries in your life i'm a music minister if i wake up every morning i must rehearse no day will go without me rehearsing because i'm going far i want the nation to bless me as a man of god i must pray at least in tongues one hour every day two hours whether i like it or not it has nothing to do with whether i'm strong or not strong i may be sleeping i will carry my mattress outside that one hour i must cover it i will put an alarm clock and pray i must study five chapters every day one chapter every day come what may i discipline myself please pray lord help me to set values in my life i'm tired of living my life anyhow praying anyhow 
visiting friends anyhow watching anything anyhow there has to be boundaries in my life that coordinate me for the purpose of greatness it says every man that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully you will never be great being careless hallelujah listen listen there are people here the last time they read a book was last year the last time they read a book was last year you buy all kinds of books and pile them and continue to lie to yourself and others that you have so many books and then there's someone that reads one book per week look let me tell you please god is not unjust if you are not willing to do this thing right it will not work are we together there are many preachers that sees what god is doing in, in some of our lives and get angry they don't know the sacrifice these are my boys that work for me ask them i i don't think i have ever gone to bed not not in the last i don't know the last time i cannot remember the last time i went to bed earlier than 12 midnight not for any reason even if i have a flight to catch in the morning please let's not mock ourselves they say uneasy lies the head that wears the crown if you are not willing to pay the price don't insult those getting the result because god is just he's rich unto all are we together we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you